let's start with a fact bomb. Fact bombs don't work. Why is that? It's the worst thing for anyone who is a scientist. You've spent all of your time to go and find some piece of information. You want to go tell the world and it's going to change everyone's perspective and we're all going to do something better. But that's not how our brains work. It's just not how people work. And it comes from the field of science communication where we do research into the way that people respond to messages. We do research into the way that people uh, listen to stories and remember things. And what we consistently see over and over again is that telling someone a fact, telling them something doesn't achieve the thing you're after. One of the examples of this is that you can walk through the street in pretty much any city in Australia um, and Ask a smoker whether or not smoking is linked to increased risk of cancer. No one in Australia or very, very few people in Australia don't believe that that link is true. But believing or uh, or us as a scientist coming in and saying, well, you know, smoking causes cancer and therefore you should stop, forgets that there are all of these other reasons or motivations or uh, things that get involved that might be making that person have a certain behavior type or choose to continue smoking in this case. So the actual knowledge here doesn't change someone's mind or change their behavior or doesn't doesn't work. We need we need to understand that people are human. We need to understand that they have feelings that we're squishy. And this this is really really important for us to understand when we're talking about trying to convince people of especially something that they don't want to give up or they feel uncomfortable about that we need to not just throw facts at them because, no, they don't work. 